Welcome, this is the energy vibration for the Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising. It is the third week. This is the energy vibration for the Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is the third week of July 2017. And I want to say to each and every person, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, you Capricorns. Um, this has been just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful journey. I'm loving it and trust me you Capricorns trust me because I've been there and back it's gonna be okay whatever you're going through whatever you has been going through whatever you are one of the most powerful sign because you have stability you Capricorns rock you Capricorns really have a lot of stability you Capricorns are hard worker you go for what you want and you're going to make it and you know see me as an example as another Capricorn who has gone through so many things but yet still I find who I am I find my true self and this is what I'm doing to help humanity so this week it's gonna be the week of justice the week of balancing it is an air sign you are a, a earth sign the energy vibration from Monday until Saturday is going to be emotional but it's going to be good emotionals a lot of new things the wheel of fortune is here your focus in this week is a wheel of fortune with justice which is wonderful you're another beautiful energy set um, that that got this energy vibration let me let me show you because um, the angels have been here the whole day with me so something is happening the wheel of fortune this is wonderful because what is happening is that the wheel of fortune is letting you know and letting you understand certain aspects and certain things some karmatic situation that was happening in your life is finally coming to an end because you Capricorns was working a lot of working out a lot of karmatic situation with a lot of people because you Capricorn have been saying you know at the time has changed since 2008 for some people 2012 for some people but it was all a karmatic situation is the karma get off the karmatic wheel because you don't need to be on the karmatic wheel okay who's gonna help you in this week is the energies of the ascendance masses is a number 333 so the number 333 and number 2 so you have 2 and you have 3 so you have 23 you have 33 you have 22 um, and it's good it's 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 gonna be a good week for you Capricorns it's gonna be such a positive week for you Capricorns which I haven't seen like in a long while you know um, but whatsoever is happening it's gonna be good the um, energy of uh, victory whatever that was happening to you guys you're triumphantly or victoriously and triumphantly coming out of it in the week and on Friday you're going to have a victorious success so whatever that was happening okay the zodiac energy changes on a Sunday and it's good because uh, the energy of temperance which is another earth sign is bringing money into your life so this is good for you guys um, and, 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 and when it looks at your your health your health is going to be vitalized on Sunday because whatsoever that was happening um, if you were busy working and that sort of a thing what is good about your weekend your weekend you have uh, the three of Pentacles uh, and you have temperance balance which is another earth energy vibration which is bringing balance to your financial situation you finally finally now is seeing clarity to something that you were working on a whole lot of doors portal is going to um, open up one of your best days is going to be the middle of the week which is this this is going to be performably good for you Capricorns because your week is governed or the ace of Pentacles and the ace of Pentacles governing in a week is so positive with the wheel of fortune so for a lot of you Capricorns that was going through difficult situation with your financial situation and that sort of a situation the wheel of fortune is bringing you money and the ace of Pentacles turns up in your reading twice the wheel of fortune turns up in your reading twice and I'm going to let you see this because this is unbelievable okay this is this is one of these readings that I'm going to show you certain things about your reading because um, 
the ace of pentacles uh, with the wheel of fortune that means uh, luck in money is going to it's like a huge it's like whatever that was blocking your financial situation is not going to block you anymore the wheel of fortune is bringing you so the wheel is the wheel is bringing you um, money you Capricorns and this is good because Capricorn people are very hard-working people it doesn't really matter I've never met a lazy Capricorn yet honestly 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 um, you you're always on the go you're always working somehow whoever this person is uh, the night of uh, the night of pen the night of cups uh, this is a Pisces uh, uh, cancer or a uh, scorpion is in the reverse form whatever reason this person is in the reverse form it could be that this person is upset because of something or it could be that this person is uh, you know um, you know something happened that this person is in this reverse form but look and see around you who is uh, a Pisces a, a cancer or Pisces cancer or a scorpion and this person between the ages of 18 and 35 this could be someone a child who you are you are not seen eye to eye okay and especially when um, if it's a scorpion oh my god <laughs> And if it's a cancer, wow. So success with who this person is, but somehow, and let me see is, um, if you're showing up in your own reading, because uh, the three of pentacles is here, but it could be that it's your child, that there is, is somehow you're not seeing eye to eye. Whatever is happening, you're not seeing, you both are not seeing eye to eye. So, you know, be aware of the situation that is happening. I don't know, he fell out. So, obviously, I have to give a message. <laughs> okay. The, the portals. This week for you Capricorns, there's going to be a portal. And when I said a portal is opening up, if you are looking for work, if you are looking for work, it's going to be available. If you're looking for love, it's going to be available. If you're looking for partnership in business, it's going to be available. Okay. It's a powerful week where the masculine and the feminine are adjoining. The masculine and the feminine are there and they're supporting you. So this is going to be a positive week in the sense of whatsoever, whatever karmatic situation that you have brought from a lifetime before into this um dimension hurt dimension all the time which you're working out with other people it's going to be good because <clears throat> what is happening is that a situation with a knight of a sword so some of you are partner up with a situation with a knight of sword it's a karmatic situation whoever this sword person is is a karmatic situation depending on who this person is it, it you know if it's a libra or a gemini you can work out whatever situation, but it, it's a karmatic situation. So if you are a Capricorn and you have a Libra or a Gemini person in your life or Aries, you're working out situation with them for whatever reason it is. You're working out certain aspect and certain situation with them. Okay. Let me get on with the reading because there's so many messages coming in. We have the Kniver of um, Cups, the Kniver of Cups. Yeah. This is as if he is uh, the page of cups, the page of cups. And the page of cups is wonderful because the page of cups is bringing you love. It's as if, you know, it's as if this is the, the, the angels of love because the angels of love are always small angels. The angels of love are always so small and so cute. And they are bringing you a lot of love. So this could be a lot of love coming from a lot of people. A lot of people are, you know, connecting with you. A lot of people are understanding you. A lot of people, whatever it is for whosoever is doing something, business, something. If you're a writer, if you're a creator, if you're an artistic person, if you are also an handicap, 
you're touching the lives of a lot of people and they're sending you love because this love is so positive that you are radiating out to them and they're radiating back that love to you so it's good because it's as if the universe is sending you this powerful amount of love back to you and really supporting you and really healing you with this love which is good because a lot of people it's as if you're touching the arts of a lot of people and a lot of people are touching the is are sending you back that same loving energy vibration that you're sending out so this is good and for some people if you have a child who is a is a Pisces a cancer or a Scorpio this child is so in love with who you are and he's so respectful of you and is so that healing is coming in and this could be a young child or it can be just somebody between the ages and 35 this other person because he was in the reverse and this is why I think uh, it's just that you're not seeing it. maybe you have a son that you're not seeing eye to eye with at the moment but it's not gonna it's not gonna last for long you know he fell out it's not gonna last for long so you know whatever the situation is it's gonna be good as we look at Tuesday, we have the energy of fire, and this energy of fire is this three of one. So you're leaving a situation behind. Some people, if you're having a relationship with an air sign person who is younger than you are, you're leaving him behind. You're moving to better grounds. You're, um, you know, you're positive. So you're moving to much better grounds you're seeing situations much better you're thinking you I am moving on from you this is not working so here we are and it can it can because Capricorn women or Capricorn it can be a man that you you know you have a relationship with an air sign person but I don't know it depends on who the person is it depends on who the character is because um, if you're a cups person and this air sign is a cups person, that relationship is going to be powerful. But if you're not a cup person and you're dealing with an air sign who is a positive air sign, who is a you know who is really an air sign, not unknown of the cups, not on the cups of uh, you know one and the ending of the the other, and the beginning of the other. There is always a, like a, a sort of a conflict. You guys like each other, can connect, but yet still you're thinking you're or overbearing, and Capricorns don't like overbearing people, so you will just walk away. In the middle of the week, you got a Ace of Pentacles. When was the last time you Capricorns got the Ace of Pentacles in the middle of the week? This is going to be wonderful. This is going to be positive. It's going to be such a positive energy because you're going to see openings, openings, wonderful new openings, new beginning in your financial business and in your health. You're going to feel much healthier. Um, so this week, you're going to feel much positive with yourself, much healthier. You're going to have balance. Your head is going to be in the right, uh, the head space. Money is going to be wonderful. Uh, or The beginning of making money is going to be wonderful because you're seeing this comes up. You're seeing this uh, really coming up. And so we move on to Thursday. You have the king of uh, sword coming at you the king of sword is someone from your past it's a past relationship this king of swords have it out for you because whoever it was on Tuesday was also a sword person and that was the uh, <clears throat> the 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 knight of swords and you have two energy of the knight of sword this is powerful write these things down you have two energy of the knight of swords in this week you have the energy of the knight of swords coming at some of you on Tuesday and the knight of swords is in your readings and this is a karmatic situation that you have been that you are dealing with with someone of the knight of swords and guess what he's coming at you with words and you know brutal he's been brutal but you know something empty barrels make the most noise let's move on from the knight of swords on Friday, which is going to be wonderful, you have moved away from the Knight of Swords, whoever that person was. <laughs> or, it is obviously, it was a karmatic situation. It's someone who came back from a karmatic lifetime, uh, you know, and 
you're moving away from this person because you decided on Tuesday, you know, you're, I'm leaving you behind. Whoever you are, you're mischievous. I don't want to be with you. I'm, mo I'm moving away from you. And on Thursday, you know, you realize that it's a karmatic situation because as I said to a lot of people, when I meet people, I wonder what, what is this? What is this lesson all about? Uh, who are you? Which lifetime you came from? And why? I'm serious, people. When I meet people for the first time and I realize that, you know, there is a connection, but yet still, I'm seeing the connection, but I'm seeing other things that are happening that I'm thinking, okay, who are you? What lifetime? Well, how long do I have to deal with you? Because there is a sense that you need to understand that everyone you come in contact with is a karmatic situation or lessons that you need to learn that you haven't learned because maybe you had someone in your life who was uh, um, a hair person and you go back with someone of that same sign and you know all uh, imbalanced they are because hair persons hair people can be imbalanced they can be very good in their works but they can be imbalanced in having personal relationship whatsoever is happening you're leaving whoever this is and the situation behind okay it's a week of you leaving and you're going to be victorious so whoever that air person was or whatever that was going on with that air person or whoever it is you're leaving them behind okay you're leaving them behind and you're saying you know I have chosen this and um, I decide to go this direction and you're leaving that person behind and also um, you're moving on to something that is better which is good it's a positive Friday is a victorious win you have the energy of love coming in on Monday and on Friday is also a victorious win because whatever the air person that you had to deal with and that situation so it can be a boss it can be a partner it can be a business partner it can be someone who you have met whoever that air person is I am feeling a Gemini I am feeling and Gemini or a Libra or um, an Aquarius whoever but it's more a Gemini and a Libra whoever the, those air people were you're leaving them behind bye we're looking forward on Saturday you have the three of Pentacles so it's wonderful whatsoever is happening on Saturday you are seeing a situation for what it is and you're working with other people on Saturday and what you're doing what you're working on and what you're doing it's going to have a very very positive endeavor to who you are and what you're doing because whatsoever you're working on and this could be at work you know it's gonna be good it's gonna be something that is going to be very positive it's going to be very good it's going to be something that you're bringing in a certain sort of a thing in and you're going to see positive energies to it and you're going to change the vibration of certain people but whatever you're working together on you're going to see something about it and it's going to bring you positive because whatsoever you're working on is going to be a success and it can be a success that you're working on your own personal growth you're working on um, correcting certain ways that you connect with people in certain situations and you're, you're working on yourself to not connect with certain people anymore because you know exactly it's like my best friend he he says you know I can look at people and I know what to expect from them. So I kind of say, you know, go back in your little box or go back in your little bubble. But he says it's so nice, so funny, because I'm always laughing every time he says that. And, you know, and, and, and it, is, it is true because it's as if he says, I see trouble. I see trouble when it comes. And sometimes we meet people and you you know you're funny you kick it off with them and that sort of a thing and you start to see the the, the red flags and you think okay all right but but but, but then you're seeing the red flag and you're you know no I'm I'm not doing it and 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 this is where Capricorns lose it sometimes because they can do it but then sometimes they said yeah but you know he's he or she is nice and you know we can laugh and that sort of a thing but yet still you know you're thinking mm -mm. no 
listen don't do it work on what you have to work with because it's going to be a, a you know very um, positive you know the ace of Pentacles this is wonderful I'm going to tell you about your reading on Sunday we have another earth sign and it is temperance there's a balance so whoever you are you're going to connect with um, someone who is Virgo and so if you're a woman you could be connecting with a Virgo man and this is going to be extremely good whatever it is this person is going to help you to make money whoever you are you're a Capricorn you're going to connect with a Virgo man or woman whoever you are as a man or, or a woman you're going to connect with them and it's going to be positive okay they're going to help you to make money whoever you are okay I'm gonna explain something about your readings this is a very very nice reading this is this, this is a positive reading okay you have the endeavors of the night the night of uh, the night of chalice and you have the page of chalice so let's think about it if you have a son that is um, let's say 21 to 35 you're going to have a situation with him that you know you guys are not seeing eye to eye whatever the situation is but on the other hand there are going to be other sort of a young people who are connecting with you at a very nice way because whatever you're doing for them they're being much happy so sometimes you have kids and sometimes you can get along with their friends better than how you're getting along with them okay so you have the knight of cups and then and and and, and the and the page of cups okay then when we look forward the knight of swords comes out twice so a lot of you Capricorns because what you what people do not understand with the energy vibration of the week and the whole energy aspect and people on a whole sometimes um, like in this week you're working with situation that has to do a karmatic situation because you have the wheel of fortune twice you have the overall energy as the wheel of fortune so a lot of people is going to get a lot of luck a lot of luck a lot of happiness a lot of fun a lot of good things are coming in your life but yet still some of you are working out a karmatic situation with people who are Aquarius Libra and Gemini's and what I'm seeing here is that what's to ever is happening whoever had connected with Gemini's or Libra people or air or, or Aquarians people you are saying no I don't want you in my life I'm not accepting this it is okay thank you for the lesson that you taught me but goodbye this is what is happening for most of you Capricorns and especially the women I think the women are saying and the men too because the men the men and the, the women you know if you realize that there's someone that is not you know there's red flags and there is you know always things happening and you know it's, 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 it's as if I have a, a my cousin she's always say oh my god you're hot like nine days love okay <laughs> <laughs> okay all right and you can meet someone and it is as hot as nine days love but yet still the person has these little irritating things that you think you know grow up or whatever the situation is with you Capricorns with the Aries the Leo and the um, you know the Aries no the Aquarians and the Gemini and um, the Libras, whatever it is, let it go. You know, it's a karmatic situation that you had to work out and work it out. And bye, because on Friday you're going to move away from it and you're going to be victorious. On Friday, you're going to say goodbye. <laughs> you know what? I'm out of here. You know, and you're going to be victorious. So, so that's the second. So, your number is two and three and there's a lot of two things that are happening the next thing that you have this is double is the ace of Pentacles the ace of Pentacles is double people 
don't know why I guess my angels and guides are showing me information for you Capricorns which is that and I'm channeling the information so okay some Capricorns are going to have new work new possibilities new everything possibilities with money and work and there some Capricorns are going to need to have temperance they're going to see their money coming through and it's going to be for some Capricorn you need to work on your energy vibration you need to find time to um, think to have strength to do this and to do that which is extremely good okay so there is going to be whatever is happening victory and success so you have two wheels of fortune you have two times um, the ace of Pentacles and you have the world and you have victory and success what else would anyone wants in their week this is going to be positive as again I said love is not one of the most important thing people who are in relationships with these air sign people you're trying to bring an end to it there's a situation that is happening with someone kids out there uh, uh, kids is um, a Pisces a cancer or a uh, a, a scorpion um, but it's going it's going to be okay you're just not seeing eye to eye now but it's going to be okay the relationship that you're having for the people who are having relationships with Pisces Kansas or scorpions it's good it's a good relationship it's a relationship that is a, a karmatic relationship it's like a soulmate or a twin flame relationship that is going to be good because that was brought in your life you have brought that in your life that person I have chosen you you have chosen that person and it's going to be good and if you realize most Capricorn people have people who is of water sign as kids whatever that is there is you know because um, and, and then you see the parents of Capricorn um, people always their parents are of water sign too so something is there which I'm going to go deeper in one day but not now so as I look at your reading, it's going to be a reading of perform wonderful things and wonderful energies. So this is going to be good. The world energy, a lot of good things are going to come for you, Capricorn. So Monday, good news is going to come in. Um, the whole week is going to be a week that you are changing. You're making sure that your financial there's financial security in your life. That's sort of a thing. So it's going to be good. And I'm asking. Um, the spirits of the oracle to say well, oh my god okay okay all right <laughs> this is positive you Capricorns and it says forest fully made and this is I acknowledge my inner child and open my heart to the joy she brings so this is good because you, you and, and guess what the number is 38 and 38 is 11 so this is good and the, the energy vibration of the week is also just this so this is good this is your fairies and helpers from out the night dimension coming in to say you know I acknowledge my inner child so you are acknowledging that you're connecting with your angels and guides you are acknowledging your inner child and you're opening up your heart to the joy that it brings you and this is a wonderful positive positive energies okay I am going forward I'm working with the wisdom of the Oracle the wisdom of the Oracle and we have the energy of the wisdom of the Oracle and it is a change in the wind a change in the wind but there is peace <laughs> a change in the wind but there is peace okay so whatever is changing in your life whatever is moving away out of your life it is good because obviously it wasn't supposed to be there a change in the wind is always when your relationships or something in your life that is not vibrating at your higher vibration at your vibrational level um, is moving out of your life and it can be relationships especially with these air sign people this air sign people it wasn't for you okay because this other card shows up it wasn't for you so whoever the sword whoever the air sign person was with it, the changing of the wind and this is it 
um, it's gonna change he wasn't he or she wasn't for you okay there was just a lesson that you were supposed to learn he or she wasn't for you because this is in the on reverse and it says not for you and sometimes we meet people they're in love with you but you're not in love with them and uh, you know you're trying to balance out certain things and peace is going to come in because you're going to realize that you know I've made a decision I've said to universe whatever um, I should um, it's obviously it's a karmatic situation that you have to deal with with these uh, um, 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 Libran Gemini and um, Aquarians people and you know whatever it is uh, you know the change is in the wind because whatsoever is happening is that this person or this situation is not good for you it is not good for you a change is in the wind and here peace is going to come at the end of the day peace is going to come at the end of the day you know sometimes in the beginning when I used to see this card a change in the wind I'm always thinking oh god what now is gonna happen yeah a change has to come in, people. And I'm saying namaste until next month.